Hello my loves, welcome in, welcome back to Monocopes' Tarot, I am Amira. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Alright, this is going to be the All Signs Daily Message for January 30th, 2022. Oof, alright. Let's get started with your messages. Aries, what's going on, my loves? How are you, Aries? Let's get your message for the 30th and see uh, what's here for you, okay? Let's see what's going on, what you have to look forward to or look out for. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, Aries. <clears throat> Let's see what we get for you. In the heart space, we have you showing up, Queen of Wands. It's in the reversal, though, okay? This is definitely low energy. Some of you are overworking yourselves on your mind. We have the Ace of Wands. There's definitely a goal in mind, right? The Ace of Wands is something exciting. It's an exciting new adventure. It could be a new pot, a new project, a new passion, a new love. Um, but there's definitely an issue, okay? Your body's telling you otherwise here. Whatever this is, the challenge, page of swords. The princess of swords is someone who is extremely intellectual, who wants all the information. Um, I feel like someone's telling your business. Sun card at the bottom of the deck with the world in reverse. Yeah, you guys are, are, are working too hard. I, it does seem like you have started something new, okay? Something new is driving you here. Maybe you're learning a lot of information about someone or about something, but I feel like uh, today is a day where your energy may be low, okay? So just be mindful of that. That's for Aries. Taurus, what's up, old gang? Let's see what your message is for the 30th of January for Taurus. I'm hearing eclectic. Ugh. Interesting. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Eclectic. Okay. Let's see. There's a lot of colors, <laughs> okay? I don't know what this is, if you're if you're being creative or um, there's some kind of project that you're working on or if this is just what's going on in your mind. I don't know, there's a lot of colors. Six of Wands in the reverse will showing up in your heart space. So the Six of Wands in the reverse is, in fact, an energy of someone who is um, maybe not ready for something or maybe feels embarrassed, okay? I don't know if someone else is showing up as all these colors and you are not prepared for it or not wanting to deal with something, but this is also a loss. It's a lack of success. Um, again, no support or short-lived success, okay? Okay, let's continue. On your mind, we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are wanting attention or uh, attention from a specific person or recognition, uh, you know, let's call it that, right? From a specific person. It seems like you're not getting all that you need. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is a hard stop, okay? This is someone who's no longer putting energy effort into something. I don't know what's going on here, Taurus, but it seems like um, someone's attention or... Yeah, okay, the Empress, all right. It's like someone's attention has wavered or, or their focus is elsewhere. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Very similar to um, Aries' message, but this seems more so like you're working, working, working really hard and getting nowhere with something or someone, okay? It's for Taurus. Gemini. What's up? What's going on, Gemini? Let's get your message for the 30th of January. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, reach out for a personal reading if you so choose. Follow me on Instagram. All the information's in the description box. But let's see what's going on for you guys for the 30th of January for Gemini. Princess of Cups in the reverse. So the, this is the Page of Cups showing up in the reverse. So this could be um, a rejection for sure. You guys feeling rejected or abandoned by someone or something. 
Yeah, nine of discs on your mind. So I, this this feels really recent, okay? This feels very recent. The nine of discs is the nine of pentacles, and that's someone who was independent, single, uh, uh, lavishing in luxury, okay? I keep hearing purpose all over, oh, oh, not all over again, but over and over again, okay? So maybe for some of you, this is you trying to find your purpose after some kind of rejection or within the midst of feeling rejected. Yeah, Queen of Swords is the challenge. So the Queen of Swords is someone who is extremely direct in their communication, is not focused on feelings, okay? Be mindful of this energy if it's representing um, you, Gemini, but I do feel like, like I said, there's been some kind of rejection. Yeah, the full card in the reverse, feeling like you have missed some kind of opportunity here. Okay, be mindful of that. It's for Gemini. Cancer, what's up? Let's see what's going on for Cancer for the 30th, please. Cancer, don't forget to like this video. Comment down below. Let me know what's going on for you. And subscribe. Let's see what messages here for you guys. One more shuffle. Thank you. <clears throat> for Cancer. Cancer. In the heart space, we have the world card showing up, okay? This is fulfillment, it's completion. This is um, success, it's a huge opportunity. This is someone who is feeling like grateful for all the struggles, okay? Getting to the end of a cycle, this is closure on your mind. <laughs> I was getting ready to say on your mind, however. We have the six of discs in the reverse. Some of you are taking your energy back, okay? Um, you, It's like you no longer care about something that you have held on to. I feel like you're letting go of that today. The challenge is the five of swords, yeah. So, I'm hearing abrupt, okay? I don't know if someone is being abrupt with you or someone is literally challenging you uh, mentally, um, uh, physically, emotionally, definitely a verbal challenge here, Cancer, um, but I feel like you are in a good headspace as far as like, nope, don't want anything to do with it. Yeah, three of swords in the reverse. This is realizing that it's time to forgive, time to heal, time to move forward. Coming to terms with something, all right? That's what you're doing, but I feel like this Five of Swords energy is um, someone else who is attempting to continue to be selfish. There's definitely selfishness here, okay? All right, that's for Cancer. Leo, what's up, Leo? Let's get your message for the 30th of January. Let's see what's going on for you guys. like someone's on a job search okay I'm hearing grateful and optimism it's like someone's on a job search either on a job search or this or it's a job offer something like this okay let's see in your heart space Leo nine of wands in the reverse so the nine of wands, nine of wands in the reverse could be giving up this is someone who is no longer fighting for something okay it's realizing that something is not worth it or letting a guard down realizing a new opportunity to uh, move in a different direction pretty much that's what's going showing up in your heart space so from an emotional standpoint something has become <clears throat> tiresome okay and you're ready to go in a new direction on your mind, we have the two of wands. There it is, okay? Ready to go in a new direction, ready to take a new approach, making excellent decisions. The hard thing here is uh, th there's a lot invested in what you're leaving behind, but I feel like, again, you're grateful and optimistic about the future. This is forward thinking, forward looking. This is someone who is planning for the future. I feel like you're in a good space here. Stay on this track. The challenge is the eight of discs. Yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it, love this energy, okay? The eight of discs is someone who has mastered their craft. Again, I don't know if you are on a job search or you are receiving a job opportunity, if you are receiving a job offer, but this eight of discs energy says that you are capable, you are ready. Whew, I feel that strongly, y'all. Okay, yeah, Prince of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's definitely some kind of offer opportunity here. Okay, that will change that emotional space that I was talking about with the Nine of Wands. Love it. Okay. That's for me, y'all. Virgo. 
What's going on, Virgo gang? Let's get your message for the 30th. Let's see what's going on for my Virgos. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. There's your energy at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Wands. Show me Virgo, please, for the 30th. There's something you're trying to figure out on your own today. Okay, very much in your head. <clears throat> um, In the heart space, yeah, strength card, okay? Showing up in your heart space. This is control, this is discipline. This is someone who is um, not necessarily showing all that they have, but at the core, this is courage. I love this energy in your heart space because this is someone who is showing no fear. I do feel it below the surface. I, I mean, I have to be honest with you, this is what we're here for, right? I feel it below the surface, but I feel like um, externally, it's not really coming out. Love it. On your mind, we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Okay, Nine of Wands in the reverse says that someone is, um, I'm hearing the blame game. <clears throat> okay, something about the blame game, something like this. So I don't know if you are resisting uh, playing this game or resisting uh, going back and forth with someone, but the Nine of Wands in the reverse said, I'm hearing something about tough, okay? This is tough. Something is tough, but I feel like you are um, realizing that something is not worth it, okay? Something is not worth, it's like you're, I don't want to call it giving up, but it, it's just, just as I'm saying, something is not worth it. It's not worth the fight, okay? It's not worth the effort. You're realizing this. The challenge, eight of discs. So for some of you, this may have to do with um, the workplace, okay? or work in general, but the Eight of Pentacles is someone who is dedicated and focused on the details. So perhaps within this dynamic or this conversation, yeah, death card here at the bottom of the deck, things are changing for sure. Um, within this dynamic or conversation, Virgo, I feel like you need to continue to focus on the details, okay, of what's going on. Because perhaps there's a perspective that you're not seeing clearly. Okay, that's for Virgo. Libra. What's up, Libra? Let's get your message for the 30th of January. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for being here. It's truly appreciated. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Wow. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on for you guys. Take your time. Okay, take your time today. I'm not sure what that's pertaining to. <clears throat> Something about the number four as well. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's put this all together. Let's put this puzzle together. In your heart space, we had the hangman in the reverse. Okay, so here you are getting impatient. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm, I'm over this. I'm over this. Why are we still here? Why am I still in this uncomfortable position? Why have I not gained the clarity that I want to gain? Because you're being stubborn. Okay, there's something here that, need, that you need to let go of. There's something here that you need to let go of. Take your time figuring it out. On your mind, we have the fool in the reverse. So you got, yeah, you guys are becoming really impatient. And here's the thing, right? Um, there are consequences for making an irrational, uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's consequences for making an irrational decision impulsive thank you okay and this is really th th these both of these cards are indications of consequences okay the way that they are showing up here so and the fool in the reverse in particular i don't know if you guys are feeling like you know i'm gonna miss my opportunity if i don't hurry up that kind of thing but that's not what's going to occur you need to take your time 
the challenge, Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, you're not thinking clearly. You are not thinking clearly, either not being honest with yourselves, not being honest with someone else. But the Queen of Swords in the reverse is someone who is extremely closed off. I feel like you're not being receptive, okay? The Emperor in the reverse. The Emperor in the reverse is someone who is extremely controlling or may um, abuse their power in some way. But uh, all in all, it, uh, this situation is not really um, leveled. Okay, there's something here that's off that you're still needing to be introspective about. Okay. <clears throat> it's for Libra. Oops. Scorpio. What's going on, my dear Scorpio? Let's get your message for January 30th, 2022. Let's see what's going on for you guys today. Scorpio, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel okay reach out for a personal reading if you so choose all that information in the description box well 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 five of cups showing up in your heart space this is not the energy we want to see there okay this is grief this is hurt this is pain this is disappointment it's shame it's regret Okay, lots and lots of things. Ultimately, this is someone who is stuck on what has occurred in the past. There's still some kind of energetic tie here, whether you want to believe it or not, is showing up in your heart space. Okay, on your mind. Yeah, Ace of Swords. And I guess that's a part of why I said whether you want to believe it or not. Ace of Swords is a new beginning, right? It's clarity. It's an awakening of some sort. I feel like this is sort of um, what needs to happen. Okay, what's the challenge? Nine of Cups in the reverse. <clears throat> Nine of Cups in the reverse often reminds me of um, the Devil card. Okay. Yeah, Ten of Wands is here in the reverse as well. You guys are holding a lot in. Okay, and, and, and yeah, next to the Nine of Swords, the Six of Swords in the reverse. Okay, something from your past that you're... Um, I feel like there's a lot of guilt and regret, okay, <clears throat> that's going on here. But the Nine of Cups in the reverse is overindulgence of some sort. There may be some selfishness that you need to check or be mindful of. This is someone who is not receiving what it is that they want. I feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with some kind of communication or uh, truth, okay, that you are um, avoiding or maybe have been avoiding for some time. Okay, that's what's going on for you guys today. Alright. <clears throat> Sag. What's going on, sassy Sag? Let's get your message for the 30th. For Sagittarius. Don't forget to like this video, Sag, and subscribe to the channel. What is a bear? Oh, maybe they're saying bear cub? I thought it was bear club. I don't know. Cub club. I'm not really sure how that relates. Okay. Let's see. I do. F I feel like there's some isolation or uh, what's the what's the word I'm looking for? Um. Exile. Someone's been exiled or feels that way. Okay, from a group. Yeah, from a group or a pack. In your heart space, we have the devil card. Wow, wow, wow. Capricorn energy here, but the devil card in your heart space, Sag, is um, something that you are really, truly attracted to. Um, and it's borderline unhealthy. On your mind, we have the four of swords in the reverse. So the four of swords in the reverse is an inability to, you're obsessing over something here, okay? And it's cause, it's 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 literally, it is, it's causing um, other parts of you to be affected, if you will, okay? For some of you, this is other relationships that, that, um, that are in your life or that you have with other people. But for others of you, it's like literally uh, physical pain or, or um, something to that effect. The four swords in the reverse on your mind is, is someone who cannot uh, obtain peace, okay? Can, cannot obtain peace, uh, difficult 
um, healing from something or could be avoiding healing. Okay, this is frustration for sure. Extreme, extreme. The challenge is the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, okay. Someone feels like they're not a part of the community anymore. Okay, Ten of Cups is a card of community. Could be family, could be a marriage. There's something like this here. <clears throat> I don't know if you are the youngest. It, it, has someone passed or, or, or um, on the verge of this? There's something like this here. Yeah. Okay, that's for Sage. <clears throat> um, Capricorn, what's up? Let's get your message for the 30th. I hope you guys are doing well. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's see, what's here for Capricorn, please? Messages here for Capricorn. Wow, why can't I shuffle? There's some kind of um, fight over a purchase of some sort. Yeah, there it is. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay, so someone has spent too much money or um, if someone is also really controlling, okay? I don't know if there's one person in a relationship or in a um, some kind of, of, of connection here, okay? Relationship doesn't have to be romantic, but someone is um, extremely controlling I, with good reason or this person feels like it's with good reason. But I feel like someone has spent a significant amount of money, whether it's you or another person, I don't know. There's also some guilt here, but <laughs> there's also pride, okay? Um, on your mind, we have the hangman. This is Pisces energy. Okay, a lot of stubbornness here, a lot of ego. Yeah, like I said, okay, there's guilt, but there's pride. There, there's stubbornness, but there's ego. It's like, I know, um, I know I did wrong, or I know I spent too much money, or I, I, I know that I should not have bought that, but, um, it is what it is. <laughs> Challenge. King of this in the reverse, okay? Everything that I just said. Okay, I don't know. If, I don't know if this is someone here is definitely overly controlling as it pertains to the finances. Okay, whether it's you or another individual, yeah, two of this in the reverse here, and the hierophant in the reverse. It's like, why would you? Why would? Why would you? There's a significant argument. Okay, over finances. <clears throat> All right. What's up? Happy birthday, Aquarius. Happy stinking birthday. Let's get your message for the 30th for Aqua, please. Show me Aquarius. Aquarius. Aqua, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Okay? If you're not already subscribed to the channel, Reach out for a personal reading if you so choose. This is simply a general daily reading for the collective. We have the Three of Pentacles trying to jump out in the reversal, which is a lack of teamwork, a lack of cooperation. Someone who's unwilling to learn or budge or bend as it pertains to a uh, team, okay? Six of Pentacles in your heart space, so it must be somebody else, right? Six of Pentacles is balance, it's harmony, it's someone who is willing, 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 I'm willing to. Whether or not this is actually happening, I don't know, okay? I feel like you're owed something. Are you owed something and someone's not willing? Or you feel, you feel as though you're owed something, whether this is financial or time, okay? You feel like you are owed something and someone is unwilling to budge, that's what I'm getting. On your mind, we have the Emperor. <laughs> Okay, this is some kind of legal situation or or it's going to turn into that, okay? The challenge is the Eight of Wands in the reverse. There's the argument, okay? Eight of Wands in the reverse could definitely be an argument, but this is definitely a delay as well. So I don't know if you guys are waiting to hear back from the courts or someone in a position. I feel like you're having a communication with, having a communication, having a conversation with whomever is in charge here. Yeah, but there, this is at a standstill. <clears throat> okay, this is at a standstill. Mm -hmm. Someone's unwilling to budge for sure. I feel like a lot of you already know that. 
I'm not sure why this message is needing to come out. I don't know, maybe just for confirmation, okay? Thanks for Aqua. Pisces, what's going on, soul family? <laughs> Work hard, play hard. Pisces, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Okay, become a part of the tribe and subscribe. I, I promise you guys, I did not mean to rhyme. Just, <laughs> I really didn't, okay? <laughs> Let's see what's going on for you guys for the 30th. For Pisces. Please, please. I feel like you're forgetting something. Not forgetting something, or but, but something needs more of your attention. Okay, let's put it that way. King of Swords in the reverse in your heart space. So, King of Swords in the reversal is someone who is blocking their emotions to the extreme. Okay, it's also someone who may use their power for uh, negative things, reasons. Okay, something about accomplishments. I don't know. The, the the King of Swords is typically an intellectual. This is someone who has typically gone to school for um, a higher degree, okay, or, or, or is in a position of authority that they worked hard for. Someone who is extremely knowledgeable, but I feel like you're underutilizing this, basically. Something is being underutilized for a project or um, maybe it's school in itself. I don't know. On your mind, we have the Four of Swords. So some of you have taken a break, okay? Four of Swords is a separation or a break or a rest of some sort, but um, Spirit is calling you out here to say that you are underutilizing some gift, ability, or, you know, um, also hearing pressure. There's some kind of pressure. The challenge is the judgment card in the reverse. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, Pisces, allow this to be confirmation that that is not this is not it. I feel like a lot of you are not being honest with yourselves as well. There's a lack of accountability. Okay, with the judgment card in the reverse, um, there's there's poor decision making. Yeah, three of swords. I don't. Are you? It's like you're harping on something, or you are um, uh, expecting. This is something about default. Okay, it's like you're going back to going back to your default settings. Something like this. It's like you're expecting something to not work out, okay? That's what it feels like. But the judgment and the reversal, this is, um, you, th this break needs to be over, Pisces. Whatever you are suppressing, whatever you are not acknowledging, whatever you are ignoring, whatever you are, um, uh, putting to the side, I feel like th that it needs your focus again, okay? Guys, this has been your daily message. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel for additional content. Love you guys to life, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye.